Welcome to Supreme Beats Castle, the show where two contestants do various stages and then get a chance to storm the castle. Today we have Noximus and Pipster. First stage is the Great Wall. The aim, get over the wall, down the other side and across the line to win. You get five points if you finish first and only three for finishing second. And Noximus is making a really good start, but he can't make the last jump. Pipster is stuck right at the bottom there. Not doing too good. Oh, he's, he's moved up a block. Uh, oh, Noximus is over and Pipster's fallen down. Noximus has crossed the line and he's got himself five points. Can Pipster finish? Because he needs to get the three points. If he quits, he gets nothing. Oh, there he is. And his three points for Pipstar. And let's have an early look at the head-to-head -head scoreboard then. And Noximus takes an early lead with five points, but Pipster is way not out of it yet. He's on three. Now it's time for the honeycomb maze, where the aim of the game is to complete it faster than the other opponent, and you get five points for a win, three points if you come second, and you get nothing if you fall in the drink. And so far, Noximus is doing well. The cameraman has fallen off the honeycomb maze and he's following Noximus around. And he's looking for the exit now. He's coming up to half a minute. Can he find the exit? And he has. He done it in 31 seconds, so let's see how Pipster can do. So here is Pipster, it's his go. And can he beat the 31 seconds set by Noximus? Or can he just fall into the drink? Here he goes, through the middle of the maze, he's making his way to the edge, and needs to find the exit. He was in the exit room, almost, and he went down. He's struggling to get through the doors, he is against the time limit here. Can he beat it? He's going through the door, he think he's going to beat it, and he has! 28 seconds, and Pips to Pew Pew goes through to the next round with 5 points. And for Pete's ridiculous replay, the cameraman falls off the honeycomb maze and still has to continue filming after his injury. What a wazzock. Looking at the scoreboard after two events, Noximus and Pipster Pew Pew are now tied on eight points. Things are really tight right here on Pete's castle. On to the next stage, Slipping Stones. The aim of the game is not to do that, but it is to jump across all the stones to the other side. You get four tries. If you do it first time, you get five points. Second time, you get four points. Third time, you get three points. If you do it on the final try, you only get one point. And if you don't do it at all, you get nothing. And so far, Noximus has used up two of his tries. He's not doing too well. Oh, no! Straight into the drink. One more try for Noximus. He can only get one point now. Pipster must be feeling confident. So here he goes. And straight into the drink again. Noximus has failed. But can Pipster fare better? It's his first attempt. He's taking a look at the best route. Doing a little spin. Here he is. He's gone to the second stone. Oh, he's still going. Oh, and he's face planted into the ice block. Pipster's got to be unhappy about that. Here he goes again. Oh, went straight into the drink. A lot of failing at the first hurdle here. He has two more tries. He needs the points. Whoever takes a point here would have gone ahead. Oh, he's doing well, he's doing well. Oh, he's on to the last block, surely he can't mess it up now. Oh my god, and he face plants into the mud bank. Pipster Pew Pew only has one more try. Final try, can he do it? The answer is no, no one takes any points here and the score says 
level at 8 all. And for Pete's ridiculous replay, Pipster Pew Pew gets right to the end, but what a wally and doesn't make it. So after three events, it's still all square at 8 points apiece. So now we're moving on to the Brutal Gauntlet, and much like Slipping Stones, this one has the same point scoring system. You don't do that, and also, you're supposed to get across to the end. You have four tries, one attempt, you get five points, in two attempts you get four, in three attempts you get three, and four attempts you get one, and if you don't make it at all, you get nothing, and Noximus has already used up two of his tries, ending in drink both times. Can he do it? Oh, he's across the ice. Oh, almost straight into there. And he's avoided the minecarts. Oh, he's up the hill. This will be a third attempt for Noximus, and this will get him three points. He has to get in the minecart and go down the hill, get out of the minecart. And across to the finish, he manages to do it in three. Well done to Noximus. And let's see how Pipster Pew Pew can bear. So here we go, here's Pipster Pew Pew's first attempt over the hurdles. Across the gap. Across the next gap, and the next one. Avoid the train carts, always oh, done well. Straight up the hill, he could we one shot in this event. You know he needs to get in the train car. He's in the train car but he's not moving. Oh, it is gone without him. He needs to get down the hill in the train car. Here we go. And he's down, he's down. And he's going to do it in one shot and he's going to take the lead on our scoreboard. For Pete's ridiculous replay, Noximus makes the first jump, but then takes an early bath. Now to take a look at the scoreboard after four events, Pipster now takes the lead with a two point gap to Noximus. Now moving on to Ice Beams, the brutal stage where many people face plant their face onto the blocks of ice and the mud bank. Noximus has already had a double face plant already and much like the previous stages this has the same scoring scheme you have four tries to get across first attempt you get five points you don't get any points for doing that but second attempt you get four points third attempt you get three and final attempt you get one and he's already lost all his attempts and he's been in the drink with all the flowy bits Oh, he's just going to give it another try, but this will not count for anything, even if he does make it, which he probably won't, and that is major foul from Noximus. Let's see if Pipster can do it any better. Here he goes, across the beams. He doesn't want to fall into the drink, and he does it in one! What a great turn up for the books. Pipster Pew Pew does it in one yet again. For Pete's ridiculous replay, Noximus takes a swim in the raw sewage. What a total and utter plonker. Now to the scoreboard and after five events, Pipster is making a massive gap over Noximus now. Now it's time to look at the Furious flashback to see all the scopes and bruises our contestants picked up today. That had to hurt and so did that. Many, many other scrapes and bruises today and such as this, all oh, straight into the mud bank, and he had to fill that, and what's this, can he make the jump? No, straight into the drink. And he's doing another jump, and oh, face plants straight into the stone, and he has to have new teeth straight after this episode. As darkness falls up on Pete's castle, the two contestants get ready to go, and surely any second now they're both going to compete to try and win the prize in the chest. So here they go, Pipster's taking an early lead. Pipster is going through and Pipster is going to die. Noximus has killed him and here comes Noximus. He's past the spiders here 
And it, could he be the first ever winner on Peak's Castle? Here he comes. He's made it to the steps. He's surely going to win. And I think we actually have a winner. We have a winner on Peak's Castle. And Noxmus is the first ever winner. Here he is, parading around in his golden armour, what he gets for completing the challenge. And he goes on to our winner's scoreboard with 11 points to his name. It's probably not going to be good enough to stay at the top forever. But he is number one for now.